creative. And so we're doing a matrix themed version tonight for professional development for anybody in sales and service. So if you're not familiar with The Matrix, it was a beautiful trilogy of movies. First one came out in 1999 by the Wachowski brothers. And in that movie, it depicts people living in a virtual reality and they don't even know it. Kind of like we are today to some degree. And there's a character called Morpheus who has his wingback chair. There, as you can see, I have my own version of my wingback chair here, which I do much of my creative thinking. And in the movie, there's a general premise about freeing your mind and breaking your limitations by getting out of that matrix. And that's what I want to talk a bit about today. The movie highlights a simple concept to do with a black cat, which is every time you see a black cat, it's a glitch. In other words, a glitch in your thinking. And then when you see a white rabbit, a little bit like Lewis Carroll's white rabbit running down the rabbit hole, that's a clue to follow that might liberate and give you something better to focus on. So here's three quick tips for anybody who works in sales, service, or customer experience of any kind. The first one, the black cat in question, is that we might be too overly pro uh, product focused, meaning all we do is talk about our product. We've got a, an edge on it, that's what we lead with, that's what we talk about, and we keep it really tangible about what the product is. Now if you take Coco Chanel as an example, a fashion designer born in 1883, she moved from fashion to handbags to jewelry, and ultimately, she was the first clothier to successfully put a name on a fragrance brand. And Chanel really didn't sell any of those things. What she was selling was confidence. If you look at brands like Mercedes-Benz, they deliberately brand and package their marketing associated with prestige and a prestigious experience. And even people like the brand of LJ Hooker, where some of my friends and collaborators work, they're not really selling real estate, they're making dreams come true. It's not the bricks and mortar, it's the experience of life that happens for people in those homes. And even if it's just an investment property, there's still a bigger picture outside of the bricks and mortar. So the white rabbit, if you're in sales or service, is to stop focusing on the product and start focusing on the overall value and the total experience and really understand that value is emotional as well as tangible. The second black cat is to, it comes from traditional sales thinking, and that's what we talk too much. Not just about a product, but we talk too much generally. And so you can think about that a little like dating. If you're going on a first date and all anybody ever did was talk about themselves, you'd probably be turned off. And in sales or service, it's the same thing. The white rabbit is really to put the focus on the customer. Learn to master communication, ask better questions, and really put your attention on listening. The final uh, black cat for the tonight is digital disruption. I just came back from Melbourne having talked this week and spoke a little about this at a seminar I did earlier in the week. And it's true that we are living in a digital world and digital and tech absolutely has its place if it makes efficiency of service easier and better and more accessible. But as Einstein said, the danger is when our technology surpasses our humanity. And to some degree, we can allow that to happen. There's some amazing campaigns and advertising campaigns even from tech companies going on now that focus on we can't even walk while we're texting, let alone drive cars. Honda have, received, uh, have put out some adverts around that to really encourage people to get off their phones and back in the real world. And so the third one, and the third white rabbit to follow would be to disrupt your digital, digital. Yes, it has a place, know what it is, but don't spend your whole life in the business thinking that the technology is gonna engage your customers because it's not. And so that's really about having an authentic presence on your social, on your digital front, but getting off it and servicing your customers and giving them the total experience. And to give you a clue what that looks like, it goes something like this.